independent of the presence or absence of the sync pulse, but it is recommended that the power is adjusted only with a video signal applied to the drive due to the change in black level which may occur with or without modulation. If the change in level is significant, the video processor board will need realignment. The output AGC loop is designed to alter the pulsar bias, such that the klystron output black level is maintained over a gain variation range of plus or minus 1 dB. The AGC loop should not need to be adjusted unless the output power level is changed. For the AGC loop to function correctly, the feeder monitor unit must give a video plus sync level of 1 volt at TP21. Once again, as with the drive AGC loop, if this is not the case, a resistor will have to be changed within the unit. In the beam modulator drawer, the loop is set such that with switch SB set to manual, RV2 gives a voltage of 5.0 volts at TP22. This should have been done already prior to the setting of RV1 in the beam modulator. With switch SB in the auto position, RV1 is adjusted to restore the power to be exactly 58% at black. This completes the setup of both AGC loops. Pulse processing board contains circuits which introduce delays to compensate for those produced by the VSB saw filter and the sound notch group delay corrector. Unless the modules are changed, it should not be necessary to reset the timings. Sync pulse timing, sync edge shape, sync edge timing and sync depression controls are also included. Sync pulse timing and shape are dependent upon the group delay corrector and will need to be reset after alignment of this corrector. The sync amplitude and phase are interdependent. Set the mate test set as a synchronous demodulator in its sample black mode. The sync phase is shown by the bright spot at the bottom of the graticule. Use the sync phase control RV8 to bring it vertically below the zero carrier one at the top of the screen. The sync amplitude and sync depression controls both vary the amplitude of the sync pulse, but in opposite directions. Initially, both controls are wound off, RV16 fully anti-clockwise and RV17 fully clockwise. The amplitude control RV16 is then adjusted to take the sync tip just out of saturation. This is usually greater than the normal 100% modulation depth and the sync depression control can then be used to reduce the drive during this period until the amplitude is correct. Now check the sync phase again. If adjustment is necessary, the amplitude may have to be reset, again rechecking the phase afterwards. It's worth emphasizing here that if the DC conditions for the new tube are the same as the previous tube, then the linearity corrector should not need to be readjusted. Before the corrector circuits can be set up, all correctors and the adaptive controller are switched off. Both AGC loops should be switched to auto. The linearity of the Klystron amplifier can be assessed by applying a staircase waveform to the transmitter and differentiating the amplitude of each step. 
Without correction applied, the non-linearity of the tube under the correct DC conditions will be about 60%. If it's much different from this, there is likely to be a fault elsewhere in the system, such as in the IPA, and this will need to be corrected first. At this point, it's worth re-emphasizing that if a video sweep had been used for cavity alignment, the swept subcarrier, even when applied to a white pedestal, would still be in the non-linear part of the klystron characteristic. This non-linearity can be seen as the difference in height between the last two steps of the linearity waveform. To apply linearity correction, the corrector is switched on and all six controls are turned fully anti-clockwise. Starting with the lowest control, the correction is applied progressively until the fourth spike is just below the fifth. The second control is now adjusted such that the third spike moves up to just below the fourth. The third control will lift the second spike up to just below the third. The fourth control will lift the first spike close to the second. This procedure will need to be repeated until no further improvement is made, remembering that, in general, the first control lifts the fourth spike, the second control lifts the third spike, the third control lifts the second spike, and the fourth control lifts the first spike. The fifth and sixth are the course controls and may not need to be used. The non-linearity is expressed as the percentage difference in height between the largest and lowest spikes. The ICPM measurement will also need a five-step staircase waveform. Severe ICPM distortion may show as spikes on these step transitions. The MATE test set will allow a measurement to be made using the sunburst graticule. Sync tip mode, that's sample black off, and zero carrier reference must be selected. If the sync phase and black level phase are significantly different, readjust the sync phase before attempting to set the ICPM corrector. When the ICPM corrector is switched in, RV10 and RV11 will allow the other bright spots to be adjusted to give the best fit to a vertical line. The special graticule and a scope termination will enable a measurement to be made. The ICPM is measured as the angle of the worst point of the display from the vertical. The phase error on this display is about 3 degrees. For differential phase measurements, a subcarrier and burst must be added to the staircase waveform. The mate and link test sets will enable measurements to be made. Envelope demodulation must be used, otherwise ICPM distortion can affect the result. The trace will be rather noisy and will not lock up unless the subcarrier burst is present. With the corrector switched on, controls RV15 to RV19 are adjusted until the errors are within the 4 degree specification for a main station transmitter. The differential phase is measured as the maximum deflection in degrees from black. The vertical scale can be calibrated by the rotary switches on the Sony or Link test set.
To set up the differential gain corrector, select this mode on the test set and switch on the corrector. Controls RV12 to RV14 are adjusted to bring the differential gain within the specified 5%. Use the controls on the test set to calibrate the vertical scale. Group delay adjustments on parallel operated transmitters will seriously affect the transmitter output. The group delay settings on both transmitters will need to be equalized, otherwise vision sideband amplitudes will be reduced or will cancel. Absolute delay inequalities can be compensated for by use of the switchable video delay line, otherwise a large change in phase at IF is required. This may cause the IF phasing circuit to locate the phase null at one end of its range, requiring a change of cable length in one of the IF feeds. Normally no adjustment will need to be made in service. The group delay and amplitude frequency responses should only be measured via the probe at the output of the vision sound combiner. Group delay measurements are made using the sideband analyzer mode on the MATE test set. A DC coupled scope is needed. The video amplitude frequency response is shown simultaneously. Increment the offset to resolve the group delay display and increment the range to give greater vertical resolution. Switch SB and controls RV7 and RV8 allow adjustments to be made to the group delay response. Switch SA and RV6 allow correction to be made to the amplitude frequency response. Links determine the direction of the adjustment. Final checks can be made using pulse and bar waveforms. The adaptive controller can only be brought into service after the correction circuits have been set up with the controller in the bypass mode. Check that the adaptive controller is still set to bypass using the switch on the left hand side of the drawer the red LED will be on. To initialize the system, press switch SA on the memory and conversion board to store the initial errors. The top four LEDs of the column of five on the right hand side of the drawer will extinguish progressively starting at the top. The lower LED is only on if the processor fails. This process takes about one minute. When the 